One year old Jada Motilal died from a single chop wound to her neck, while her mother, Tara Gita Ramsarup, was chopped multiple times about her body. The two were murdered in a house along Location Road, Barakpur, on Tuesday morning. A 29 year old male suspect was detained by police shortly afterwards. Autopsies were completed on both mother and child today. On Wednesday, the scene of the crime appeared untouched. A blood soaked mattress and signs of where they spent their final moments. The suspect's mother said she has since spoken with her son. I said, boy, you should not do something like that. I said, how much time we talk to you, boy? She said, mommy, um, I'm sorry what I do, but um, all your whole life for me. And I said, boy, move on with your life now, boy. I said, she gone. She leave you and gone. You move on now, boy, move on. He said, he cannot do without she. The victim's sister says Ram Sarup suffered years of physical abuse and left the relationship months ago, but the abuse continued. She says multiple police reports were made, but officers never took action against the suspect. On Wednesday morning, during an interview with I-95.5 FM's morning program, Assistant Commissioner of Police Wayne Meister admitted that while the police has made errors before, in this case, he believes the necessary steps were taken. It was quite strange that that protection order is in effect. And then we had the victim proceeding to the home of the alleged defaulter. All protocols that relates to the TTPS were followed in terms of following the court's order, serving the persons, and ensuring that um, that, that, that was done. And then we can't have persons who have protection orders um, to protect them. They themselves actually operating in a, in a manner that will put themselves in harm. He says an interim protection order was in place since April and a final protection order issued on Sunday, two days before the murder. Responding to ACP Meister's statement, Ram Sarup's sister told reporters she was told by someone that the suspect entered her sister's car on Tuesday morning as she was dropping her son off to school and with a cutlass in hand, forced the victim to drive to where the attack occurred. She maintains that far too often, reports of domestic violence are made to the police and little to no action is taken until situations of abuse end in murder. Cindy Ragubatika Singh, TV6 News.